Today, we're discussing a simple farming trick that will help you maximize your crop yield in 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, farming in Alpha 20 is a chore. First, you have to gather up all the required resources, craft a whole bunch of farm plots, map out and set down those farm plots. Then you can plant your seeds and wait for your crops to grow. However, players frequently build their farms in out of the way places. Some players build their farms next to their main base location. Other players Players build their farms on the roof of their base, basically locations that you do not pass by regularly. This makes it very easy to miss the fact that your crops could be fully grown and ready to harvest, but you just don't know about it. As the old saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. So today I'm going to show you a simple farming trick that will allow you to keep track of your grow times. Now before we jump into this, I did want to give a big shout out to Shannon and Kelly, two of the awesome moderators here on Savin's World, for inspiring this video. If you find this trick helpful, hop on down to the comments and show Kelly and Shannon a little bit of love. So let's get right into this. First step, you've got to set up your farm. That means going out and gathering the resources you need to craft up a whole bunch of farm plots. Once you have those crafted, go ahead and set them down. I'm going to be using the roof here as my farming area. Area. So we'll plop down our farm plots. Now it is time to plant those seeds. So we'll plant our corn, our potatoes, our hops, any other plant types that you want that require farm plots in order to grow. Get them all planted and ready to roll. Now you're going to head to a frequently traveled area of your base. For this example, I'm going to head to the front door of my main base location. And around that door, I'm going to plant mushrooms rooms on the wall, both on the inside and the outside of the door. And voila! You now have a simple crop timer that is easily recognizable and will tell you when it is time to harvest. So why does this trick work and what exactly is the benefit? Well, in 7 Days to Die Alpha 20, all crops are on the same grow timer. Mushrooms grow at the exact same speed as everything else. However, However, mushrooms do not need a farm plot in order to grow. This means that you can plant them anywhere, like around the door to your base. By planting mushrooms in heavily traveled areas, you can immediately recognize when they are fully grown and ready to harvest. And if your mushrooms are ready to harvest, that means all of your crops are ready to harvest. Now you can head to your main farm area, harvest all the crops, and repeat the process. This will help you maximize your crop yield. You will know exactly when to harvest without wasting time between harvests. As they say, ladies and gentlemen, time is money, meaning wasted time is wasted money. And the same holds true for crop yields. By wasting time between harvests, when your crops are fully grown and ready to go, you are just wasting resources. So using this simple little farming trick will help you cut down on all of that wasted time. With this setup, you can easily recognize when your crops are ready to go. Since you're going to be passing by this point all the time, whether you're heading out to do some questing or looting, heading out to do some mining, whatever you need to head out into the wide open world to do, before you head out, you can take a quick second to peek at your mushrooms. Are they ready to go? If they are, so are the rest of your crops. And the same can be said about coming back. When you're done questing, done looting, come on back home, take a quick peek at those mushrooms. If those mushrooms are ready to go, the rest of your farm is as well. Now you can head back up, harvest all your crops, replant your seeds, plop down your mushrooms, go about your business, rinse and repeat. This simple farming trick will help you maximize your crop yield by minimizing wasted time between harvests. Now if you 
you found this trick helpful, hop on down to the comments and give a big thank you to Shannon and Kelly for inspiring this video. And if you'd like to check out another 7 Days to Die video, check out my recently released drinking water update video for 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. You can access that video by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen, and I'll catch you in the next one.